Hi guys, I'm Danielle or Danny for short. I'm originally from Guam, but my family and I currently live out in Norfolk, Virginia. Last month, we actually traveled back to Guam after being away for so long and had such an awesome time documenting our experiences. So I hope you enjoy this look at a day in the island life. Don't forget to check out the video before this one if you haven't yet, as well as the full trip recap and the videos to follow. Of course, if you find today's video informative or entertaining in any way, then please give it a like and let's get into it. I couldn't help but laugh because I forgot what it was like waking up to chickens clucking and crowing in the morning. And then it made even more sense because I realized my sister and my brother-in-law's neighbor has a chicken farm, so no wonder why it sounded like so many. This day started off a little gloomy with the rain, but just like Guam's regular weather pattern, it cleared up in no time and the perfect sunny sky came just in time for me to shoot more stuff for my dance video. On this day, we went to the Paseo and Aganya so we could have the gorgeous Aganya Bay as the backdrop. I always love how vibrant Guam's waters are, and we were able to capture that beautiful turquoise color for the shot. I did have a few more shots that I wanted to get, so we headed back down south to Agate and picked up my sister Courtney on the way. It started raining again, so we had to figure out a location that we could be covered and not get rained on, but it was still a nice drive. We finally decided on the Nimitz Beach Park because there were several pavilions that we could use and stay under. There was a cute stray pup there who was ready to be part of the dance video too. After we got enough dance footage, we went to Marina Grill for lunch since it was right next door. It was nice to revisit this spot since I used to work there during pre-COVID times. We got a few things to share including their tuna poke appetizer, the spinach ravioli special, and the barbecue combo plate. Here's something I missed too, the abundance of coconuts just in the backyard. So uh, my brother-in-law and uh, his brother cut open coconuts and they gave me that. So I poured out the juice into a cup, put it in the fridge. It's as fresh as it gets. This took me back to the times when we would bring our pup Max to the beach or the park and somehow he always found a coconut to shred up. Have you ever seen a coconut? Whoa, it's almost bigger than you. This is what your brother Max always used to eat. That's cool, huh? She's like, I am uninterested. <laughs> I just want my fingers. So it's around 5.30 in the afternoon and luckily we are beating. 30 traffic and um, I'm actually heading down to Made Wild, the rhythmic cycling studio, uh, so I can take another class because I'm trying to take as many classes as possible before my sister leaves on her honeymoon. Um, plus, I've just missed it so much, so I'm indulging. Even though the class is at 6 30, I was gonna be safe and leave by 5 30, so I can just get there early regardless. And so far, 
far it's looking like we're smooth sailing. and showering at the studio, we had dinner at Sakura Dining in Tuning. Sushi and Japanese cuisine in general is one of my favorite foods, so this was a super enjoyable meal. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, then please give it a like. Also, be sure to check out the rest of our 2023 Guam trip videos, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can also catch all the new stuff I post. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!